All right, guys, our uh, first house of the day built in 1930. So we're gonna check it out. He's got a dirt garage door or garage floor we're gonna check out as well. And I'm just gonna show the guys. We're all happy, ready to get out here and save some history. I'm glad you showed the handsome one first. Showing the handsome one last. All right, so I dug a couple of pull tabs and uh, this one was ringing up 84, 85 really shallow so I thought it was just gonna be garbage and it is a uh, is a compact pretty cool have to clean that up a little bit maybe there's a design on it I don't know maybe there's something in it So I'm out here digging in the curb strip. Uh, it's nothing amazing. Um, I didn't show it live or anything, but uh, it's the first coin of the day and it's a wheat. So uh, hopefully many more to come. All right, guys. All right, I'm getting a solid 80 ton one right here. I don't think it's a coin. Uh, <sighs> I've been wrong more than I've been right. Let's see. I got ground balance this thing. Uh, that is a coin. Hmm. Well, I'll see what it is. Well, it's a wheat. That is my 350th wheat of the year. Right there. I'll get a date off it here in a minute. All right, I don't know how well you'll be able to see because I'm right in the shadows. I was getting two tones. One's in the flood, no? Whatever this is. Like a button. Ear heart? I don't know, man. A car heart, maybe? Oh, that's car heart. I was getting a high tone. It looks like an older one, too. I see it for a second. I, I was getting a high tone. I don't know if that was a high tone. No, that was a low tone. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. There was a high tone in here somewhere. I don't know if you guys can see that. I can't see it through the viewer. I was getting two tones. This is, is that a dog tag? Yeah. Miss Monet. Has it got a year on it? It might help date your car hurt. Dude, it's a 623 area code. No clue. It says Miss Monet. Sounds like a stripper name. Well, 
Maybe her wag brought all the boys to the yard. <laughs> Busting off some car hearts. All right, Billy has something. Go ahead, Billy. All right. You can see. Oh, yeah. Buffalo. Buffalo Billy. Nice, yeah. dude. Good job, dude. Yeah. See if we can get Hopefully, you get a year off of that. Here, can I see it? I got a brush. Here, we'll brush real quick. I got a brush somewhere. 1934. Good job, dude. Well, I had a brush in here. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful coin. Drop it up back some Good find, man. Alright. Looks like what small cut skeleton skeleton key. Might be a handcuff key, dude. Yeah, could be. And I believe you're right. <laughs> that is exactly what it is. Awesome. Cool deal, dude. Billy having a great day so far. All right, Billy, what do you got there? Well, it looks like a little tag, but it looks like it's got a key on the end of it or something. Billy and his keys. Absolute. Ooh. Ooh, is this a. Now that is. A skeleton key. Yes. That is sweet, dude. Like I said, I don't know anything about Mayflower Hotel. Mayflower Hotel. That is sweet. Can I see it? Yeah. Oh, that is an awesome find. The key fob alone is sweet, but then you got the key attached to it. Dude, that is sweet. All right, second house of the day, built in 1933. Got a nice little front yard, got a side yard back here, and uh, the backyard I think is actually pretty good. Let's go check it out. If, huh, if we can get this guy's permission, that'd be sweet too, because this house is uh, 28. Decent little backyard. Cool deal. See you on the first hole. So Billy's just having himself one hell of a day. What you got there, man? Well, it looks like a necklace, but it also looks like it might have... Uh, might open up? Open up. There's uh, some writing on the front. Let's see that bad boy. This is your life. <laughs> That's cool. Let's see if I can get the ornateness on it. Cool deal, man. Yes, it is. Thank you. Having himself one hell of a day. Well, I just dug myself a pretty old key. Incredible. Cool deal. Well, I try cleaning this up a little bit. Looks like a a token of some sort. I'll have to show that later on. All right, we're at a new permission here. I just dug myself a double dog tag. Let's see if I can get a date off of here. Found quite a bit of these. Uh, I can't get a date off of that or that, but I'll clean it up and show it later on. 
So, Mr. Ian Myers over there. Yeah, that guy digging by the tree. He keeps yelling at me. Well, he doesn't keep yelling at me. But, uh, you know, he's giving me crap because I didn't live dig something. Um, but, hey, I'm going to live dig this. Kind of. I already dug a plug, but it's still in the hole. I have no idea what it is. So, I'm going to set this up. Hopefully... Oh. Me? Never. Uh huh. Ow. Oh, I just hit myself in the. Good. That serves you right. I know you're talking shit. Shovel shit. Ow. Oh, seriously, that hurt. Oh. It's bitch getting old. Alright. This came up like 86 to 89. And it's down here. Might be trash. Might be treasure. Well, he's digging that. I just got done digging this broken Tootsie car underneath a tree root. It's broken, Ian. Nobody cares about your broken car. I hope this is clad, because I won't edit it out. <laughs> you wouldn't do that to me. You wouldn't do that to me, Ian. Come on, man. What the hell is that? Garbage. And that's not getting edited out, people. So, a <clears throat> bunch of holes of aluminum later. Um, get this signal, 8384, which is what I've been digging aluminum. And then, I don't know if I can get you guys close to that right there. It's kind of square shaped. It's got the, uh, the nice green patina on it. So let's uh, kind of pop. It looks like it's going to be some sort of tag, maybe. Hopefully there'll be something on it. And not just a... Uh, Let me get a brush on this and see if I can get some something, something to show. All right. Well, I don't know if you guys will be able to see that through there, um, but it's Summit County 1947 dog tag. So I'll take it. My first good relic of the day. It's been mostly wheats for me all day. Nothing exciting. So let's find some more. I found some here. Uh, don't know what it is. Jason's going to do the honors. So you guys it's probably costume. Can see it in situ there. Ooh. Costume? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's going to be costume. Wait a minute. Yeah, more than likely just a modern piece of costume. When you're having a slow day, you know, I'm actually kind of happy to see that butterfly or whatever it is. And uh, I did find a silver, and I did not film it because all day, all my stuff has been coming in extra, extra high, and it would just come out normal. But this came out, uh, it rang up just like a silver should. I just didn't think it was going to be a silver. It's a 1949S. I will show that uh, a little bit later in the wrap up and Jason found something sweet. I found this in the front yard of the house and again I didn't didn't get it on film but you can see there's a root in it. It's full of dirt. Um, it actually rang up fairly high um, but again I'm having the same issues Ian is. Um, it's a really wonky day for signals so um, I think that is cool man. Even if, even if that is costume. I mean that's it, it came up mid 80s in, on my machine. That is sweet. I think it's cool. Yeah. Well, we're going to get back at it.
So Jason just found himself, I don't know if that's a match case. It's not lipstick because it's got that hinge on there. Well, I'm not sure if it's actually a hinge. You know, I, I thought it was a, just a piece of a copper pipe at first. And then, uh, then I'm like, well, is that a battery? But you can see like a lip. Like yeah. This would be a cap that would pull off. <clears throat> but I think these are just, I think that's just rust. Huh. You know, corrosion spots. But, uh. Yeah, I think it's probably a lipstick. Hey, it's a relic, man. Right. Cool deal. All right, I don't know if you can see that. Sticking straight up. Looks like a little baby spoon. I just popped the plug and seen it. So I'm gonna... Yeah, yeah that's intact. It's just, just an aluminum spoon, but... I think these are cool when, when I find them. Cool deal. Oh yeah, what the hell is that? Looks like Jason just popped himself a pewter vase with some uh, design on it or whatnot. I don't rub it too much, it keeps flaking it off. I don't know if you could see that. Almost looks like leaves. That's sweet. Heavy. Cool deal. What you got, Billy? Here. We're gonna go up here in the front yard with Billy. Been quiet today ever since uh, you went on your hot streak. Oh, it just got loud. Ooh. Where are you, uh, is it a coin relic? Relic. by the sidewalk. I don't know if they can see it. What the hell is that? It's a little necklace charm. Oh, that's sweet, dude. Oh, that's sweet. I don't know what it says, but it's a, a little shield pendant. That's cool. About ready to drop it. <laughs> Shit, dropped it. Hey, Jay's good at figuring things out. Especially when it comes to shields. Looks like it says... I don't know, man. It's got two stars on it. I don't know. That's sweet. Cool find, dude. Okay. So Ian was, uh, paranoid that I was going to be talking shit about him so he didn't want me to go get the GoPro that he left in the backyard I promised him that I wouldn't talk shit about him but uh he's over there so, so, so now he's going to be nervous uh no I actually don't so but I think we're going to call it for the day and uh we're just kind of showing the homeowners what we found and then we're going to head back to Ian's house and do a wrap up